What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have another episode of Random Basketball Hobby Packs. This is one of my favorite series to do on this channel. Definitely uh, one that you guys always tell me you love to see and we have a lot of packs here. Now, looking at the values of these packs, I'd say we're looking at a little over 2300 in packs um, at the time of recording this in uh, resale value, which is which is crazy. So the last one we did was the one for 100k subs, which was 6,000. And that was a special video for 100k. And thank you guys again for that milestone. So uh, here we have the next episode. Hoping we pull some more fire. A lot of packs here. We'll go into or get into what we have here. And uh, if you guys like this series and you want to see more of this, drop a like, sub, and um, comment down below, share. Let me know that, hey, this is something you like to see and we can definitely do it more often. So I usually try to do them once, uh, yeah, maybe once a month, I'd say. And um, we always like to rip some some fun packs. Prisms, Revolution, Crown, Optic, all sorts of random stuff. And um, yeah, so let's see what we have here. So let's see, we have a long line of, of packs here. Highlighted by that one there, Crown Royale. That's first off the line, which is has been pretty juicy. I'm hoping that we have some some fire here today, but uh, we shall see. We got two Prism first off the line, and then we have Revolution, uh, 1718 Optic first off the line. This is not 2021. We have 2021 Hoops, 2021 Certified, and 1718 Contenders. So a lot of packs here. Once again, at least uh, 2,300 in packs looking at the current resale values. Sometimes they're tough to comp, but I'd say uh, comfortably in that range. So let's see. Let's uh, grab our packs. And I had a little uh, friend, little Peanut, stand up the main featured pack. Thank you, Mr. Peanut. This one I'm really excited for. It will go last. We'll have Prism. Prism first off the line, that is. And we'll probably have to make two stacks. I think we have like 30, like 30 packs, something like 31 packs, something like that. Uh, we'll do the optic and the contenders. Let's do the contenders last this time. That's one stack. That's looking a little unstable as it is. We'll do the hoops first and the certified here. All right. In the background, we got Tatum, Absolute Beast, and uh, Anthony Edwards. That's a cubic from Revolution, one of my favorite products. So hopefully they're bringing us some good luck today. And uh, once again... If you like videos like this one, always drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and you know, let me lets me know that it is something you guys like, and we can definitely once again do more. IG there, Pac-Man cards, drop a follow if you haven't, and that's kind of where I just communicate with you guys. If random hobby pack is coming, I'll probably say it on there. If I'm selling something, if I'm buying something, so that's definitely the place to be. So we got a Coro, Halliburton, and Isaiah Stewart. I like. Halliburton a lot. He's a good player and he's a pretty cool. I like the picture they use. All right. So we have six of these hoops. Now hoops. Sometimes it can uh, boom. Sometimes it can bust. It's one of the cheaper products, but I like it. It's got that, those first, you know, rookie cards for the rookie class. It's always nice. You get a lot of base. So that base stack definitely climbs up quickly. Kyra Lewis Jr. And almost Lomelo. But yeah, we'll fly through these and see what we can get. So question for you guys. What is your favorite series on this channel? Is it this one? Is it Pax in Paradise? Which hopefully we can get going again soon. Is it, you know, like some random series that maybe I'm not thinking of. Maybe it's product reviews. Maybe it's mail days. Let me know what you guys like the most. And we can definitely get those ones going. Also, from Random Hobby Packs, what is your favorite card we pulled to date? Lots of think on mine. We pulled we pulled some pretty sweet cards from this one. Thankfully, the packs have been nice to us. And this should be a red back LB. It is. I like red backs. And we will sleeve them up. I got some sleeves cut. Hopefully we use all of those and more. Because we pull so many good cards. It'd be sad if we didn't touch any of them because no no heat. But I'm feeling I'm feeling some good stuff. And got some shiny action here. All right, lots of base, and we have a Dr. J tribute. I don't think I pulled too many tributes before. They made them much more rare. Kind of changed up the the format of hoops a lot this year, and I like it. I think I think it is better because you do get all the rookies, which I guess lowers the value of some of them. But it's good to almost you know, roughly not 100% guarantee, but roughly guarantee yourself most of those rooks. And the tributes are more rare. A lot of cool stuff to find. There's a number card. 
Got a Tony Parker to 199. Legend of the game. Let's go as high as like 699 or something like that. So get a lot of those. And now for some certified. And certified dub or certified L or who knows. I like looking for those mirror parallels. The mirrors are are very nice. Very clean cards. We can pull a top rookie of those. That'd be a win. KP. Ooh. That's a nice card. A Luka Doncic to 25. And they, these have that mirror feel too. So I don't know if you can see it, but if you kind of see this card, it's a little textured. And you see this one's very flat. This is kind of what those mirror parallels, like this one, are like. So getting a Luka, 6 of 25 is awesome. Gold team. Number 7. Fitting. That's a very nice card. All right. Using those sleeves. I like it. Luca. I was going to put him in the back and then I said not to. Maybe uh, it was meant to be to have him in this video. That's a very nice one. 25 camo. All right. We got a lucky filler coming up. Or maybe unlucky filler. Who knows? If You know what? If we get a redemption, we'll use this filler and see if it's lucky or not. And there we have a Denny Avdia. 2020. A Zeke Naji. Here we go. All right, three more packs of these. That Luca. That might be uh, one of the better cards we could we could see from this stuff. Oh, I, I, for a second there, I was sure that was Halliburton. All right, that's how they're gonna do it. Blue. So there's that mirror. I mean, look how smooth that texture is. It feels really cool, and I'm definitely a fan of those. Rookies from this set. All right, two more. Maybe, what else is there? I feel like there's not too many, not too many sets in this, like within this set itself. Not too many um, insert sets. It's kind of a, it's a very simple set to be honest. Jordan Wara. And there we have a real deal, Mr. Beal. All right. Last certified. Let me get some Revolution, one of my favorites. Beautiful card. And beautiful design every year. All right. Oh, now we have two fillers. So if we get a redemption, which one do we use? Now, obviously, you know, chances of getting redemption aren't exactly crazy high. Nice killing haze there. But if we do get one, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough contest. All right. So do some revolution. Give us a galactic top rookie, please. Tower Bay, Astro. That's not bad. And a Maxi. Parallel. Let's leave it. And I'll keep going. These packs, I'm, I'm trying not to jinx it, but they're opening pretty easy. Usually, it's an absolute pain to open these packs. And here's a boom right here. Oh, actually, you know what? We did get a, a numbered rookie. And Halliburton there. So 19 of 50, Elijah Hughes. It is Elijah Hughes, but getting a cubic rookie is always nice. Now, Jazz fans, any Elijah Hughes fans, is he good? Is he awful? Is he average? What do we think? I honestly just don't know, so it's up to you guys to uh, to fill me in. I always look forward to seeing what you guys say in the comments. Sometimes it's split, kind of split opinion. Some people say, oh man, he's got high potential. Then someone comments, oh, he's terrible. Then someone says, oh, he's average. So let's see what, what you guys think. There's another rookie here. I saw that color. This is twice now we got him. This is how they're gonna do us. And they also got we also got a Woodard. Ah. Grant Reller. Well, I hope you brought your you brought your teammate. And I'm not talking about um I don't even remember all their names. Vernon Carey Jr. Who is the other guy? He's now escaping me. I'm sure we'll see him shortly. But man, they have like a gajillion rookies. Always, whatever that top rookie is, that team will always have like a thousand rookies. And they do it on purpose. They they, they love to give us that troll treatment. Jayshon Tate, that's nice. And a Fractal Vortex Sabonis. All right, last revolution and then we get into the juicier stack hmm 
Oh, maybe not. Thought we might have had a backwards card. I think, I think not. LeBron James, the right Hornet. Yes. Devontae Graham, Devin Booker. Last few. We already got the numbered card, and you usually get one numbered card per box. So I'm not too sure what else I'd be expecting here, unless they wanted to, you know, load us up with a second one, which is cool. Cool by, cool with me. Like maybe right here. And they did. Saw that cubic pattern. So double cubics. And Woodard. This is 40 of 50. I feel like we got a lot of jazz cubics. Because I have the Donovan Mitchell this exact card, I think. So maybe I'm the jazz magnet. Only problem is... And we just hit uh, Elijah Hughes. Only problem is the jazz don't have any like top brooks to chase. Yeah, no. Last one would be Mitchell. And yeah, so... Jazz magnet, but... No huge guys to chase for the Jazz this year. Although maybe Elijah Hughes ends up being a monster. And then I'm, I'm bouncing to the bank. Lillard, liftoff. Jimmy Buckets. And then there's one. One lone pack. Poor guy. All by himself. And now he joins his buddies. Alright, we have... Some shiny action here. It is not a rookie. Yeah, oh, Horford. All right, and Beal. Okay, well, we got the numbered rookie. You got the Halliburton. Got two numbered cards, actually, so... Okay, box. Now for some uh, optic. This is the first off the line. Though. Come on, rookie parallel. That's what we're looking for here. D'Angelo Russell Lime. Kyle Kuzma, I'll take a Kuz. Lime is 20 of 175. Next one up. Optic can be boom, and it can absolutely, especially for this year, 1718, it can be bust. Like, 1718 was that, that year, one of those years where, you know, pre boom, where they just give you nothing. I'll say nothing. And just big, hope you're happy. Hope you, uh, hope you're, you're content, and I'll see you later. Ah. <sighs> Good old days. I remember ripping some boxes of, I don't remember, but something. Rip something, and it was it was very bad. Simmons. All right. Next one up. All right. Maybe not. There we go. Got a Dave Bing. Yeah, so I mean, some of these packs can be on the weaker side. All it takes is one, though. Last one. Um, mm. Mm. Not very good. All right, contenders time. Hopefully, we can hit an auto. Autos don't like to come out too, too often, though. They can definitely be. Kind of scarce to say the least. Oh, we do have one here. It is a variation one, so it's... All right, let's see. Uh, buy the shoes, I don't know. I still don't know. Why are marketing? I, now I know. All right, is it one of one Super Bowl? Not Super Bowl, one of one... Uh, what is it? What is the one of one? I forgot what it's called. Championship, is it? But the final ticket, 425... Why marketing? It's a pretty cool card. Hmm. That is a slick looking card. The finals ticket. Now the crack dice are numbered to about the same. I think they're numbered to 24. Somewhere in the low 20s. The finals are very slick. I like these. And why marketing? Good player. I'll definitely take that. He earned himself a top loader. And we'll slide in there. Got those rookie card ones. I only have the rookie card one, so it's not a rookie. Well, he's going to be a rookie because they get putting those rookie card top loaders all the time. And, uh, oh, there we go. Got Curry. And some base. Can we squeeze out another auto? So far, I'd say that was a pretty successful little run of, two con of one contenders pack there. So 
It's like an auto right here. Here we go. One, two, three. Now. Now they like to troll us. They put a bunch of backward cards in here. So do not be fooled. Oh, that was a John Wall. Didn't, didn't give him his full screen time, which I know he wanted. All right. Final contenders pack. And then there was one. We will get another auto. I'm sure of it. I'm not sure of it. Vince Carter. He's with the Kings. He played for like a million teams at the end of his career. He played for the Grizzlies, I remember, for a few years. The Hawks. Kings. Bouncing around. All right, we have four packs left. And these are four very, uh, very big packs. First off the line, Prism. Big boomer bust uh, packs right there. And then Crown, which has a higher floor, but doesn't necessarily mean we'll pull a monster. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's a Baba Boom and not a Wop Wop, but a lot of a lot of the values in, in these four packs right here. Must get Rookie Parallel or Riot. Wouldn't mind seeing a Shimmer. That'd be nice. Uh, we have a blue in here. At the very least, nice to see those numbered parallels. All right, so no rookies. Jabari Parker for the king. It's a good thing I didn't slow roll that because that would have been very, very upsetting. All right, I want to see a rookie card logo. Houston Rockets, KJ Martin. And if not, uh, probably Robert Covington. Yeah, <laughs> even worse, Austin Rivers. Hmm, that didn't go well. Got KD there. Hmm. <sighs> I watched you use Cassius Stanley. Okay, not not the best pack. Hmm. I will put the prison rookies here. We do have three of them though, so that that one was not good. To sum it up, pretty pretty simply, not good. That's why we have three, and this one will also have a numbered parallel. No. Too good to be true. They love giving you those silvers and those hypers and the red waves. They they love those. Do we love them? No. Do they love them? Yes. Kevon Looney. And this time, this time, he's not wearing his uh his fake Pascal uh Pascal costume, which he likes to do. Milwaukee Bucks. Nora? No. George Hill. No Wara. All right. Third time is a charm. Wiseman, okay, okay. I will definitely take a Wiseman. And LB. All right, so put the base here, here, and gulp. One prison pack left. Please be good. Don't be bad. Don't be bad. I've, I've never seen a product. I, mean, I have seen a product, but... Prism is just different. You can get boxes with just absolutely nothing in there. We rip so many, and some just have nada. And then some are completely loaded, and you're just like, how did how on earth did this happen? So, okay. Purple Prism. Purple's my favorite color. Purple Mojo. Denver Nuggets. RJ Hampton would be a huge dub. Please. Please, Hampton. Please, Hampton. Jeremy Grant. Hmm. Okay. Auto. Is auto good or, or was Prism just a complete L today? No, please, please, please be good. Royce O'Neal. Silver Royce O'Neal. I'm disgusted, man. This is... Uh... Oh, boy. All right, come on. Crown? Are we, are we friends, Crown? Bane? Okay, there you go. That That's a... That we, this, just like that, we just got all our money back. Phew. I thought for a second we weren't going to make it all back. But thankfully, base Bane saved the day. All right, so how are we going to do this one? Um, usually, I'll like hide behind something and slow roll it. Don't know if that's something we can do. 
Also, kind of carve out space, which isn't that hard to do. I don't know why I was making it seem like it's just not possible. Can't do it. All right. Let's see what we have in this pack. And uh, yeah, the nerves are, are different. All right. Um, I'm too sure what we have here. It's always weird seeing these boxes because like there's so many die cuts and so many just like different things going on here. All right. Put this here. And uh, you know what? Let's see if one of these fillers is lucky. So we'll just go. I mean, we know these are bait, so let's just kind of pull. Yeah, see, this This is why I didn't do it in the actual video. We did freak out this. Kind of tough. These get stuck together. All these base cards. I, don't, I have no place to put this. And these chrome cards are going to spin. Actually, never mind. I was going to say it's going to spin around. Did not happen. Yeah. There we go. Base again. Uh, Kawhi. And this last one is a rookie. Yeah, see, the chrome cards are bent, are have a bend to them, and these ones don't, so they kind of spin around. Hmm, that's not stable. All right. And our final one is a Vassell. You only get like one rookie per box, so I will give him a sleeve. All right, now let's see what we have here. Coming down to the final ones. Here should be our jersey card first. Surprise, not John Stockton. We have a Tracy McGrady. There we go. And is it a patch? It, it, you know what? It's not a patch or numbered parallel, but it is a two color well, relic there. So in some ways that is better than having just a plain napkin. Cool. All right, put them here. Now for these final ones. We should have the auto here. Oh, it's a Sadiq Bay. Is it number to 25? It is number to 25, all right. And that might be one of his better autos, period. If, you, if you've if seen our, our Pac-Man break streams, I mean, that is, he went above and beyond on this auto. That's a pretty good one. Sadiq Bay, one of the better rookies in this class. Definitely an underrated guy. And I'll take that. That's, that's good, I'll take that. What I really want is a big silhouette, though. We've hit a lot of these ones, but the silhouettes, if you have a big, like, Lamello silhouette or Ant, Hit me up, maybe we can make a deal, but definitely love those ones and love to add some of those to the collection. All right. Now this, I think, is an heir to the throne. I'm ready for monster. Who is that? Oh, it's Avdia. And that would be Luke on here. So 25. That's actually a pretty good card. You get maybe one to two of these per case. Actually, no, zero to two of these. I think one of them had zero, one had two. So not very common cards. 20, 25, Luca, and Avdia. And since these are all my cards, I don't have to, to random them off. Very nice. All right, and the final one is Victor Oladipo. This is our exclusive one to 21. And that does it. All right, so let's recap what we have here. We have, I don't know. Jury's out, fillers. Put them here. Let's recap this stack, and then we'll do this stack. And uh, as always, if you like videos like this one, you like seeing the random hobby pack videos, drop a like on the video, and uh, subscribe, and we can definitely get some more going. Always uh, share and comment, too. So here's kind of the inserts, the rookies, the, you know, just kind of random stuff. The base on the right, I'm not going to show the base. And our other stack is the highlight stack. So... Nothing too crazy here. Yeah. I, this is, Oh, Nick Richards. There's, that's the other one. Mr. Big Head. How can I forget? They just have too many players on that team. Too many rookies on the team. I'll say that. In this set. And here we have our, our highlight stack. So Oladipo to 21. Got the Abdia heirs to the throne with Luka. It's been a Luka day. It's a very nice one. Sadiq Bey to 25. We asked for a top rook. We got one. Got Vassell, T Mac here, Bane, save the day. Woo! Royce O'Neal. 
Surefire Hall of Famer. Wiseman Prism. KD. Got a Laurie Markin in finals ticket to 25. And Kuz. Two numbered cards from this this uh, box of well, revolution, kind of. Halliburton. Elijah Hughes. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it is numbered to 50. It is Elijah Hughes, though. Woodard. Or maybe Halliburton. Luka to 25. Then we got the Tony Parker to 199. Got the Dr. J, LB, Redback, and Halliburton. So, solid stuff overall. I'll show you guys. Let's hold the uh, the final hand. That's what we like to do. Oh, uh, let me get this off the table. Here we go. So, another episode of Random Hobby Packs in the Books. Always so much fun doing this one. Hope you guys enjoy these videos too. If you like these vids, let me know. Show the support in these vids, and um, once again, we can do more. I'm gonna try to. I think I grabbed too many. I have to put the Halliburton down, and the uh, the Wiseman down for now. But there we go. It was a nice five, manageable. Cool stuff overall. And uh, I definitely like the Sadiq. The goal is get a big silhouette. Whether I have to buy it or pull it, I don't know. But I definitely want one of those big silhouette ones. Maybe a mellow or an ant. And um, always, always tons of fun. So that's it for this one, guys. I do these once about every single month. So about a month from now, we'll probably have another one. And hopefully we can pull some, some awesome cards. If you have any products you want to see in these, feel free to let me know. I can see if I can grab it and uh, get in the next video. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.